Hi, my name is Yong Shu Hong. I'm very happy to be shortlisted for this year's Singapore Literature Prize 2014. So I will be reading a few excerpts from my book, The Viewing Party. The first excerpt that I will read is from a series of poems that I have written about my grandfather's passing. So it's called um, the this particular sequence of nine different segments uh, is put together and it's called Dragonflies. So I will be reading from um, this segment that is part three of Dragonflies. So this is Dragonflies, part three. Uncle claims that grandfather had turned over a new leaf just prior to his death and given up smoking. So there's no need to toss cigarettes into the coffin, even though there are packs remaining. No, the dead do not need temptation for company. Perhaps just a new pair of glasses to keep the scenery in focus. Still, it's funny how I had learned one day about the evils of smoking in school, then thought of persuading grandfather to quit, except that no words came and I turned and left his room, lived with the guilt for years till I forgot, but still remember that his downhill boxes are maroon and blazoned with gold. Um, the other sections of my book, I've got um, the title section called The Viewing Party and it's broken up into part one and part two. And I think I'll just read two excerpts from The Viewing Party Part 1. And basically, this is a series of short pieces, exactly 100 words each. So if you count the number of words, you, you, you know that I'm not uh, lying. So I will read firstly from this piece that's called 12 Minutes After the Water Boils. It's just very mundane um, about boiling eggs. 12 minutes after the water boils. Sometimes I crave sustenance from hard-boiled eggs. From instructions gleaned online, I found out that the eggs should preferably be days old instead of found fresh. There are tips to follow. Adding vinegar to water to keep the whites from seeping out of cracked eggs. And salt to prevent cracking and ensure easy peeling later. So do you put the eggs into the pot before the water is heated or afterwards? As with most mundane tasks, there is an art to the sequence of steps and common sense and wisdom mingled with tradition. Satisfaction is a warm egg cradled within my palm. Um, in the other segment, I've read about my grandfather's passing. Um, this one is about my grandmother. It's called Grandmother's Tale. And this was told to me by an aunt, if I can remember correctly. Grandmother's Tale. After the war, she returned with the other women to the jungle. There, they had earlier hidden their cash, gold chains, jade pendants, and other heirlooms from the invading Japanese. Everyone else managed to find what they were looking for, but no matter how deep she dug, she could not locate her secret hoard. Soon the puzzlement melted away to give rise to humiliation, then anger. Casting her suspicion on her gambler husband, she wanted to scream her heart out, but all she could muster was a strange composure, a silence that she could not deny, still spoke of love. So if you would like to play your part in supporting the Singapore Literature Prize, uh, what you can do is to do a recording of yourself, reading excerpts from any of the shortlisted uh, books, especially The Viewing Party, which is uh, my shortlisted uh, entry for this year's Literature Prize. 
And then don't forget to post it to, to Facebook or YouTube uh, in terms of all the social media platforms that the Literature Prize have sort of set up for you guys to share. And put the hashtag. So the two hashtags are hashtag SLP2014 or hashtag SGLitPrize2014. So keep sharing.